Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bigger Than Race. Exposure to all things truth, whether you like it or not. With unique perspectives from different beings from all walks of life. This is Bigger Than Race. Investigate truth on your own terms. Welcome back to Bigger Than Race. You know who this is. This is your boy, Brando. Now we're going to tap back on in to some crypto news. Let's get it popping because there's a lot going on and we need to be privy of it. Shout out to all the BTR community. If you're not in the community, ladies and gentlemen, and you need some real authentic crypto guidance from someone who cares about you and your future, hit the link below, join the Patreon group because we need you in there. You need to be in there because you don't know what you don't know. Let's go. All right. So we are dialing on in to the CryptoRiches.com. JP Morgan thinks Coinbase will benefit from the Ethereum merger. Today, an investment firm stated that it believes Coinbase's Ethereum staking service could provide the company with a larger income opportunity. JP Morgan speculates that Coinbase will benefit from the long-awaited merger of Ethereum's two chains, according to a research provided to investors on Wednesday by analyst Kenneth Worthington. The San Francisco-based exchanges, Ethereum holdings, and its staking service for institutions will be financially beneficial to the company. Coinbase reported $1.1 billion in net losses for the previous fiscal quarter a month ago. As trading volume fell by 29% owing to the bear market, uh, Coinbase's losses were a direct result of the market slump. That's not a bad thing, but we do believe Coinbase has taken a number of measures to optimize the revenue opportunity given by Ethereum staking, it added. So because of the staking that, you know, is on the Coinbase platform, what does that do? It earns yield. So Coinbase being the dominant force that they are, they have a bunch of Ethereum, and they've been staking it, earning yield. Now, what do you think is gonna happen with other institutions out there that are not in crypto? They're gonna to go to Ethereum. That's the next best thing after Bitcoin. Plus it's at a cheaper price. Plus it has a lot going on. So think about that. They're gonna put their money in Ethereum because now they can earn yield on investment and it's something that is it's sustainable and real and it's providing so much utility within the blockchain industry, they're gonna pour their money into it. And where are most of these assets on? They're on Ethereum. So what do you think that's going to do to these assets? They are going up. Phew. Now, going on over to some uh, other news well the celsius investment loses a canadian pension fund of 150 million dollars well since they lost all that other money they need to be losing everything you hurt honest people hard-working people and you took all of their money what kind of sense does that make i feel like anybody who is a youtuber out here an influencer should be held accountable if they led people to places that led people to lose money. Wouldn't you agree? All right, Charles Edmond, CEO of CDPQ, has stated that the company does not anticipate to recuperate any of its losses. So give it up. If he's saying that they don't anticipate to be able to recuperate their funds, just chuck it up as a loss, ladies and gentlemen, because these, these are the big guys saying that, 150. Million. So on Wednesday, CEO Charles Edmond of the Cassis de Poix et Placement du Quebec claimed that the firm was aware of the possible issues associated with crypto assets, but that they may have been exaggerated. According to a corporate news release, CDPQ recorded a $26 billion loss for the first half of 2018, or a 7.9% return. After adding Celsius Network to its portfolio in October 2021, CDPQ CTO called it the world's best crypto lender. The following remark was made in the context of CDPQ's announcement 
that it had bought Celsius Network. Celsius had just announced that it managed $25 billion in assets and served over 1 million consumers at the time. Despite this, Kentucky, Texas, and New Jersey officials wrote letters encouraging it to discontinue its illegal operations. Despite CEO Alex Mashinsky, the shady Mashinsky, the Mashinsky shyster, shyster, promises that consumers' monies were secure. The company suspended accounts on June 12th. All transactions were frozen for four weeks as Ave, Maker, and Compound paid off their $1 billion debts. On July 13th, the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection under the United States Bankruptcy Code. Now they over here looking for shelter after they done took all these people's money and Mashinsky the shyster is out here shysting people and using the system to back them. That's why we have to be able to see through the smoke. We have to be able to discern who's a real puppet and who's a phony. And I can tell you the truth. 99% of them are phonies. So where the real ones at? Will they please stand up? I stood up out of frame. All right. So Celsius holders, uh, if you held money on Celsius, just chuck it up as a loss. I, I'm sorry for your loss. I truly am. All righty, moving on, moving on. Bitcoin and Ethereum indicate a continuation of the upward trend, while Shiba gains 30%. Now we can see these charts on the screen. I'm not a big chart guy, but this is what's documented on the CryptoRiches.com. So you can see here the charts. It looks like it's going up, but I can tell you just from my intuition and what I know is happening behind the scenes and what we can see in plain sight, but most people can't see it because they can't see through the smoke. We're going up. You got regulations out there about to come in, even internationally. BlackRock just gave the, the one piece of validation from, I, I mean, that was the biggest validator ever that could have happened to initiate the train and the wave that's getting ready to hit. Now, if you're not in position and you don't know what to position yourself in, you definitely need to join the Patreon group because you don't have a lot of time. You don't have as much time as you think. I promise you that. And just because you're in crypto doesn't mean you're going to get rich in crypto. You have to know the right assets. And most people don't know the right assets. But if you want your Learning curve accelerated. Hit the link below. But we can see here that these charts are going on an upward trend. So let's go. We know what's getting ready to happen. We know the merger. I mean, everything is happening in a timely manner and it's strategic. Six degrees of separation. Coinbase suffered its largest loss in history. Are Bitcoin and Ethereum crashing? No, because I just told you that we're going on an upward trend. Get out of here. Binance, a cryptocurrency exchange, has frozen $450,000 as a result of the Curve Finance hack. Binance CEO said that the cryptocurrency exchange covered 83% of Curve Finance's stolen funds. Today, CEO Zhang Ping Chao said on Twitter that the uh, cryptocurrency exchange had successfully frozen a major chunk of the stolen cash from Curve Finance, which is a great thing. <clears throat> CZ, great job. You've been doing a great job this entire time, and I commend you for what you've been doing with Binance and bringing validity to uh, the crypto community at large in regards to Binance being one of the best exchanges. So kudos. So yeah, uh, Binance is over here collaborating with the law enforcement to return the funds to the users as quickly as possible. See, that's how you do things. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Let's go. Now, here's some news I want you to think about. These are news uh, news uh, topics that are coming from me. Now, hacks are orchestrated, and some are definitely fake news, because how can we even determine if these hacks are really happening unless we're skilled enough to know where to go to look to find it. 
some of us can barely research a damn cryptocurrency, let alone try to figure out where a hack is coming from. So, you know, it's like it's like the news that we see on TV. It's orchestrated. It's fake. Red flags. You don't know what you don't know. So keep that in mind. And it's also designed to keep people out, to keep people from being rich, wealthy, changing their lives. Think about this. Wells Fargo just said that blockchain technology is on par with the internet, cars, and electricity. And all three of those things run the world. Blockchain, all of this is going to be running on blockchain, which is going to run the new world of the fourth and fifth industrial revolution. We've been trying to connect you and show you the six degrees of separation. If you view the content over the time that we've been here on YouTube, you can clearly see that we're trying to give you eyes to see through the crypto matrix. But the question is, do you want them? Now, misinformation can cause you to miss the boat. It's happened all the time for people. People get the wrong information, they trust the wrong people, and boom, they miss the boat. Don't be that guy or gal. I want you to be somebody who makes it to the other side, to the promised land. If you want to do that, click the link below. It's very simple. You're not going to find anybody better than me in crypto that's going to give you the value that we give you and actually give a damn about you. Proof is in the pudding, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Game 5 blockchain games connected to mobile phones will mint millionaires if you are in the right crypto assets. People are gonna make a lot of money on gaming. It has changed the game for investors. It has changed the game for gamers. It has changed the game by bringing digital property rights to the digital world, thanks to Anioka. Open your eyes. You can get to this money if you're savvy enough. Tencent made about $18 billion. Either 13 to $18 billion in 2018 off of gaming alone. That's a whole lot of money. We have to look at things differently. Change the way we look at things and the things we look at change. So that's pretty much all I wanted to tap in with you uh, on, on this news segment. Uh, I'm going to bring another video uh, of some different news, NFT gaming news coming right up after this video. Uh, so stay tuned and you know, we're always going to give it to you the best way we know how to. And remember, Always subscribe, click the link below. You know, I don't need to tell you this, but if you want the real deal, holler at us. Right now below in the description box. You know who this is? This is your boy, Brando. Investigate truth on your own terms. Let's go.